Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're listening today. Today we're looking at jeans that sold on eBay in the month of March. As many of you know, or maybe you don't know, the solds on eBay right now are very glitchy. A lot of the links are broken. I did show you guys that in the plush that sold video that came out yesterday. If you didn't see that, I'll have it pop up at the end for you. Um, but normally you can go into your solds on eBay and pull up the individual listings and look at them. Some of them are pulling up. Some of them aren't. Some of them you can view the orders. Some of them you can't. And when I was researching for our plush that sold video, I found three plush that we had sold on eBay that weren't showing up in our solds at all. So whatever's going on on the back end with the solds on eBay until that situation is fixed, we are just going to use our list perfectly to look at our solds. And thankfully, we do use list perfectly and have this catalog here so I can look at all of our solds for these videos. Because uh, like I said, there were three plush that weren't even showing up in my solds on eBay. If you're not using this perfectly yet, I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough. I talk about it all the time. You should be. Even, you know, the premium subscription that Keith and I have is, or pro, pro subscription, is $2.30 a day. You're going to make way more than that in extra sales. It's absolutely a good investment. And you can try your first month 30% off with code Flippin' Hippos. So here's how I look up our solds when eBay is being a turd face. I'm looking for jeans only, so I want jeans in my title. And then I tell the search to sort it to sold and eBay. And then here in the updated column where you see these dates, this is where I'm marking it sold on other platforms. So I know when it sold or maybe it sold the day before by the time I marked it, but I can basically see what sold in March. So we can go down here until we see February, February 28th there. So this will probably be the first jean sale in March. So this video is gonna be a little bit differently. I'm just gonna talk more about what brands are good, why I source them, how much I typically would pay for them, things like that, since I can't tell you exactly if I took a best offer on any of these or how much they sold for on sale. I can just tell you what I started them at, a good starting price, and uh, how much I would pay for when I'm sourcing these. Keep in mind that a lot of our cost of goods is at 99 cents. We do have access to sales around here on Wednesdays and Sundays that have 99 cents. We also have half off around here. We are very blessed, I understand that. Um, we don't take it for granted. We are very lucky that our cost of goods around here is so low. And I also buy a lot of stuff in wholesale, which keeps our cost down. So we do a lot of bread and butter brands. We do a lot of volume. And let's start with these Rachel Roy. I avoid this brand. So these are poopy poops. I think they're poopy poops. I mean, I got these. These are old. These have been around so long that I clearanced them to move them. They were a couple years old. Um, we were clearancing out some of our staler inventory this year. So I don't really buy this brand anymore. You can see probably why I did because it had a neat print. But I would probably avoid it anymore. Big Star always, always is a brand that I will pick up. This is one that I would get probably up to $7 I would pay for these. So I would get them on half off days. Um, and even pay full price if it's less than 7 some of our thrifts start jeans at $9.99. I'm not going to pay $10 for these, but if they were half off, then yeah. So Big Star, and these are the lives. Most of them will have a name that you want to use in your keywords. These I started at $40. Here's some Levi's curvy straight jeans. I started at $20. If you're actually sitting here... And you're new to the channel and you're looking at these prices here and saying, why is she saying a different price than we see? Because we start our items on eBay at 25% higher than what we want. And we run 20% off sales Monday through Friday. So it puts it at the price we want. So if I want 
$20 for those Levi's. And I run a 20% sale. I'm going to get $19.99. See what I'm saying? And then we run 25 or 30% off on the weekends, which is then an actual sale and helps increase our weekend sales when people are shopping. Here's some Levi's plus size. I started for 30. Uh, a lot of these Levi's aren't anything special with like the numbers and the too super low or anything like that. Um, but Levi's are Levi's are Levi's. Even the low end Levi's that you can find at Target and Walmart, I sell for 20. These are plus size, so we started those at 30. Page is definitely a brand you want to be on the lookout for. I love Page. I usually start page around $30, so I would pay up to four or five for these. These are the Skyline Skinnies. I have a base price for most brands, but when they have special names like this, sometimes I'll just go ahead and comp them real quick just to double check because some of the styles uh, go for a little bit more than other styles in those brands. These are Judy Blues. We started at $42. They had Buttonfly. This is a really good brand, a definite Bolo brand. I would pay up to six, seven bucks for these probably, starting around 40, 40 to 42, depending. These have Buttonflies, so we started them a little higher. American Eagle, of course. It's my one of my three trifecta bread and butters. For me, the trifecta is American Eagle. Gap and Old Navy. They have absolute loyal customers and followers who come online specifically looking for these three brands. And you can get $20, $18 on sale, up to $25 to $30, depending on if it's plus size or has anything special about the jeans or if they're men's, because you can always ask more for men's. These ones we started at $20. Another American Eagle we started at $20. These, I think came in a thread up box so they were new to me i don't know that i would ever source these they've been around for a few years i finally knocked the price down to 18 just to get rid of them just to clearance them out here's some levi strauss these are maternities we started these at 18. they shipped first class um citizens of humanity this is a definite bolo brand definite we started these at 50, five zero. Let's see if I can find a picture of the tag. These are also button fly, which obviously we, we add more to our price when they're button fly. We see that as a novelty that you could charge a little bit more for. These are the Emerson Slim Boyfriend and your Citizens of Humanity tags for you guys to see there. Levi's 505, I always start at 30 bucks. 35 for men. And they typically will tell you the style right on the tag. Isn't that convenient for your keywords? So you can start your keyword, your title with Levi's 505 straight leg jeans. Just a little bit of help. I love when they put stuff on the tag for me, for my keywords. Here's Gaps. These are the sexy boyfriend. Started them at 20. So these are Calvin Klein. See where it says poop in the skew line? That's the items I've been clearancing out. Uh, you probably already heard me talk about it on this channel, but what I did at the beginning of the year, starting in January, anything that was older than 2022, so more than a year old, real stale inventory, I was knocking prices down by 50%. A lot of t-shirts went down to seven and eight bucks. A lot of our jeans went down to 15 and 16. It's just really old stuff I want to get rid of. And you can always just pull it and redonate it too. You don't have to let it go at clearance, but I find it easier to just let it go on clearance. These are wax, but I love you. You guys know I love this brand. Um, I'm in the edit. We want to look at the listing. Sorry about that. These are new attacks, which is very exciting. I believe I only paid two dollars or two fifty for these. I found a bunch of them all at once. They were half off back in Florida. 
um, they got put in a box and they, they got, I want to say lost. I found a box of new with tags jeans in our garage about a month ago. Silver jeans, wax jeans, all these really great brands, new with tags that were just like in this box that had gotten buried when we moved. X2, this is poop. Avoid this brand at all costs. I used to get these back when we first started. And I was buying everything that was 99 cents because we were learning and still kind of trying to figure our way through becoming resellers and learning what brands are good and what weren't. And we just, that's how we learned. That's how we started. It was 99 cents. We bought it and we learned from it. Um, these X2s, we learned are poop. See? Poop. <laughs> I glanced them out. More American Eagles. Here's some old navies. Jessica Simpson used to be a brand I would swear by as a bread and butter brand, but I think it's kind of gone to the wayside. Either the style or brand lost popularity or people who were racing to the bottom, which you should never do, ruined yet another brand for us resellers. So I did clearance those out. Levi's 514. These are men's. Started them at 30. I'll show you what the tags look like on these. I love selling men's jeans. You can always start them a little bit higher than women's. Here's some Wranglers. I like Wranglers. I usually get about 20 bucks for the women's and 25 for men's. I don't get a lot for them, but they sell fast. Wranglers typically sell within a week or two of being listed, and that is ridiculous and unheard of for clothing. I mean, clothing is long tail and slow. We all know that. Wranglers sell really quick for us, so I grab them whenever I find them for 99 cents. These ones are the Flex. And Taylor Law, these sat around forever, so they got clearanced out and called poop. Old Navies for 20 Don't buy this brand. You can see I clearanced them and called them poopy poops. Poopy poops. Refuge is poopy poop. Silver. Still a viable brand. It's not worth what it used to be. When I first started, you could sell women's at 50, 45 to 50, and men's for 50 to 55 all day long. People race to the bottom, and they trash entire markets and brands, which is why I'm against racing to the bottom. You can leave your prices high and you can run sales 30, 40% off. I don't care what you run your sale. Do 50%, 75% off. Just leave the original price and the worth of the item alone and run sales. Do offers. So these are the uh, Eddie style for men. And we had started these at $48. American Eagle. Oh, here's another. Don't ever source these. Poop poops. I clearanced these out just to get rid of them. They were really old. They were never going to move. They're called One Tough Babe OTV. Don't source them. Don't source these. I mistakenly thought Bullhead was a good brand when we first started. I mean, I guess when I first started, this was a decent bread and butter brand. I would get the smaller sizes, the juniors, like this size five here. I would get them for 99 cents and they would sell for 18 to 20 bucks and they would only take a couple of months. But over time, they stopped selling and just kind of sat there, kind of like the Jessica Simpsons. Those used to move for me, too. They just don't anymore. This is a really bad brand. I don't even know why I would have sourced it. Probably because it was only 99 cents and it was, I don't know, size 10 is hard to move to. Lucky brand, it's still a good bread and butter. You can start them at 25. Here's some more Jessica Simpsons. These, you know, went for 18. Miss Me is still a good brand, but it's kind of, you know, lumped in with silver jeans. Then that, it used to sell for 50 or more. Now you're lucky if you can list them at 40 and take a best offer of 35 and maybe even 30. But still list them high and run your sales and take your offers. A lot of Miss Me's have these numbers here in their tags. I try to incorporate that somewhere in my listing. 
If I don't have room in the title, I'll just put it in here in the description. Bradley could see these are poop too. I mean, I've really had a lot of really old stale poop items in our store. And I just made that decision at the beginning of the year. I didn't want to go through the effort of pulling everything and redonating it. So I made the decision to basically have loss leaders and priced it all really low to get a ton of activity in our store. And it did work. These I discovered because I believe they were from a thread out box because I had never heard of these before. I would source these. I would absolutely source these. That, and that's a big reason why I love getting those thread out boxes. I get a lot of brands and jeans that are new to me that I discover are either really good bread and butter or Bolo brands worth a lot of money that I'd never heard of. And now I know if I ever see this brand at the Goodwill or the Salvation Army, I'm going to pick it up because we started these at $40. These have been around since the beginning of time. In fact, I think I used to wear these when I used to wear Ride Dinosaurs. These are so old. They've had so much interest, so many offers. They actually sold on eBay probably a half a dozen times over the years and just never, um, they were never returned or actually shipped. They would sell and then they would never pay for them. So then I would have to relist them once the, uh, I think it's four, five days. We have the automatic thing set up. So if buyers don't pay within X amount of time, eBay cancels the order for us. And then, so, I mean, these have just been around forever and it's like people wanted them. I don't know, but no one ever bought them until I made them poop and made them cheap and clearance them out. We still got a ways to go. Uh, Levi is 526. I start these at 30. Um, Levi's are in and of themselves like a whole separate category that you have to learn. Because they have so many different styles and so many different numbers. And some are worth 20 bucks and some are worth 80. Um, if you're interested, I do have a jeans guide that delves into these nuances of Levi's in particular. It has a spreadsheet with sell-through rates, average sale prices on used and new men's and women's branded jeans. There's a actual written little booklet that comes with it that teaches you how to tell the rise the style tell men's from women's tell the wash it's a really good guide full of a lot of information and then it does also come with my starting prices so like a little guide on how i price brands um there's a link in the description box if you're interested in the jeans guide here's some poop avoid this like you guys get to see all my mistakes. Normally when eBay's solds aren't glitchy or broken, I kind of avoid the poops. But since we're going through this perfectly, today you get to learn what not to source, right? Page is still a good brand. These are the Lena's. So most page I start at 30, 35. But this is why I say sometimes you want to look them up if they have a specific name. Because some styles are worth more than others. More American Eagle, more Silver, more Big Stars. These are poop. Don't ever source these. These sat around for a million years as well. <laughs> I finally clearanced them. Cut from the Cloth is still a good brand. I can only get about 25 for it. Used to be worth a lot more than that. But again, folks want to race to the bottom. And these, no, avoid this. Here's another don't source these. I did pick these up way back when because they were only 99 cents and they were a size 40. You know, plus size typically does well, but they're red and I just, they didn't, they took forever to sell. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about selling jeans or reselling in general let me know in the comments you can always join our facebook group flipping hippos reseller pod and talk about reselling in a really positive atmosphere over there until next time go be productive go make some money and as always thank you so so much for watching y'all are the best bye